Here at Forest Park, we set off to create a learning environment that created opportunities for all students. And these are opportunities that many students probably have never been exposed to, don't even know exist. What's happening here at Forest Park is an understanding that careers in the trades, careers in manufacturing, careers in STEM related fields are really open to all students. So these spaces here at Forest Park were very intentionally located in the center of the building. So all students would see the exciting things that are happening here. A student commons is a really important place to have within any school, no matter the, the age level um, or size. Typically, a commons used to just be called a cafeteria. And really, it's only used a couple periods or for a couple hours during the day. But really, we need to make sure to utilize all of our funding mechanisms to support teaching and learning throughout the days. The pathway leading up the learning stairs is incredibly important, tying and linking the two floors of this building together. You can see that main circulation path is wide open to engage all the staff and students as they circulate through the building. We've got uh, different learning communities. They're all branded with a different color to help with wayfinding and organization. And even within those learning communities, we have smaller spaces yet broken down with small group instruction where students can break away for a little bit of quieter reflection, investigation, um, or louder uh, small group work. In the space that we are in right now, you'll see behind me a lot of glass. We see daylight. We have views, we have connections outside to the natural environment. You'll see sliding glass doors linking this space that we are in right now to the neighboring learning studio. And those doors are there to provide one, transparency, so we can see between the two spaces, but two, also the ability to physically link those two spaces together. We know that no two students learn exactly the same, and that means instructors need to be able to adapt and meet each one of those students on the walls within this building. You'll see large digital monitors. In a digital world, our students now have a digital device, a Chromebook or an iPad. That information can be cast to those digital screens to share with the class as a whole. Every surface in these rooms is a potential learning opportunity. So at the end, the building itself gets out of the way.